Are we done? Are we done with the uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 10s and 10 Pluses? Are we done with the OnePlus 7 Pro? Which actually doesn't have the best refresh rate out there. And Samsung didn't think enough of it. Put it on their displays. So, it's a gimmick. Are we done with end screen fingerprint readers? Are we done with the GD notch? The notch. Let's be done with it. It should have been gone. Like, well, long before somebody took that. You know, the one thing consistent about apples go to the grocery store apples still look exactly the same and work the same and taste the same as it did a hundred years ago or in the case of apple iphones well i think they finally figured out why they have a big bite out of the apple it's the freaking notch one of the stupidest ideas ever conceived by mankind. So, that's just me. I'm just ranting. There's nothing wrong with Apple. I mean, a super fast processor. But so restricted. And it's still just an Apple phone when you're all done with it. Who's got a really super duper camera? One. Because you're going to go out and shoot a movie today, right? I mean, an actual movie. Oh, you're not? No. No, but my grandkids are coming over. Yeah. And, oh, you wouldn't want to miss a picture of them. Uh, that no one will be able to tell the difference if you shot an iPhone 11 or an iPhone 7. Or a tablet from five years ago. Jesus, folks. Get over it. It's not... If you're buying a phone just for the camera, you might be an idiot. And if you're buying a phone with a notch, a teardrop, or a hole in the screen, well, you have an upper bezel then. I'm sorry you do. It might be very tiny. It's still a damn bezel. So, thank God. Somebody out there. The folks at Google, that is. We're about to see something very cool coming our way. Yeah. Very cool, yeah. We're going to see the uh, Pixel 4. Now, you haven't heard a word about it for a while. But when it hits, it's going to have the top bezel, folks. And it's going to have the motion sense thing. Uh, and let's ignore the gimmicky twisting. It will not have an in-screen gimmicky fingerprint reader that... There's no reason you can't put one on the back of the phone. None whatsoever. Uh, I don't care if it's a glass back. None whatsoever. There's no reason you can't put wireless charging. How can you come out with a $750 phone with a super refresh rate and not have wireless charging? Apple has them on the same. Oh yeah, it's not an AMOLED super high refresh rate. Well, yeah. Let's face it, Apple's the greatest company on earth. If they wanted to put AMOLED on there, they could. They didn't. Oh well. But for years, they never had an AMOLED display. And now it's like, oh, you know, last couple of years. It's the super, I don't know what they call it now. 
If they say liquid retina, it means it's an LCD. Any kind of liquid anything or ultra liquid retina. I challenge you to take an IPS phone up to two average smartphone users. Or a LCD phone. To an Apple and let's say a Poco phone. And ask them which one has a better display. I don't know. They both look really good. No shit. Yes, you If you stare at it long enough, you can find something to bitch about. But in reality, there ain't nothing wrong with your basic, average, everyday. Yeah, LCD display, IPS, in plain switching. Be just as good, just as wondrous. Mm -hmm. And there won't be a big bite taken out of your screen on the left, on the left side. It's going to be over here when you see it. Yeah, you wouldn't tolerate it on your monitor, would you? Sorry for the interruption there, folks. Thank God for the empow. Bluetooth camera controller. Uh, I take LASIK, I have a bad heart, and I have to get rid of fluid. And once I take it, and I didn't take it till later this afternoon, when it says it's time to go pee, it's time to go pee. Like, now. It it doesn't wait here. Well, we'll just leave it at that. I know, TMA. All right, so back to the subject at hand. Uh, now, I was talking about if you were a gamer, <coughs> you wouldn't tolerate Having a, a cutout over here, would you? On your beautiful brand new, you know, 1080p refresh rate of 244 megahertz monitor? Hell no! If you bought a brand new TV and you had a cutout over here, would you tolerate that? And, Hell no! If you put a brand new MacBook or HP and you're looking at the screen and how to cut out over here, would you tolerate that? Or a hole or a tear drop? Anything in the way? Hell no! You wouldn't. So, anyone hear that ticking noise? Tick. Yeah, that's the countdown, folks. Google's about to drop a bomb on all those tech reviewers who are constantly talking about it's an immersive experience. Sip the Diet Coke here. Sorry about that, but I'm kind of thirsty today. Since I just... Ah, never mind. Uh, maybe we're once and for all going to get over the obsession with bezel-less phones. Even though an immersive... Okay, first off, folks, if you're watching movies on your phone and you have a 55-inch TV or even a 22-inch monitor to watch them on, and you're watching them on a dinky ass smartphone, you might be an idiot. A smartphone is something you use when there's just nothing else available. That's 
all there is to it. So uh, the Pixel 4 is going to get here and it's going to have a secure face unlock. Just as good, presumably. I hope to God as good as what uh, Apple has. But it won't have a bite out of the screen over here. And God, yeah. And so, therefore, oh, it'll have an ugly bezel up top. If you're staring at the bezels, once again, you might be an idiot. So, uh, we're gonna just finish this up. It's the Sunday rant, and I, I simply am so happy that review season is almost over on all the crap bones with bezels that stick into the display and hearing the words immersive used is horseshit. And excuse my language, if that offends you, by the way, you need to read your constitution. You don't have a right to not be offended. Sorry, it's called freedom of speech. Now, Google may differ with me on this, and there are their servers, so if they do, I can always start bleeping out. Well, at least I don't use the F word very often when I can avoid it. Uh, so, read the description below. We shot this in the Mi A2 as usual. Uh, and I kind of learned how to use the light right up here on the Empow selfie stick, which is kind of cool. Seems to be working hey, pretty well. It's better than staring into that little lens over here uh, on the Mi A2, you know, the, the flash, the torch, as they call it. And there'll be a link to that. And uh, I really don't have much of anything else. I'm not going to show you any pictures. We don't need renders and pictures and suppositions. Let's all be excited and see the real thing when they release it. Dear God, I hope this release is really over. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Right now, I'm going to watch a movie or something on Amazon Prime. And uh, maybe poke around and order something for the Mi A2. I can't imagine what it needs. It would be a different case. I don't know. Uh, your comments and feedback are important. So leave feedback. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. And hit the little bell. That way you'll know every time we put out a new video. And we don't do the Sunday rants every Sunday anymore, but this time of year it's pretty easy to do one because it just, it, the iPhone 11 stuff is just stupid, overblown crap. Uh, nothing wrong with the apples, but they all got... A bite taken out of them over here. Oops. Just a salute to bad engineering from California. Dear God, please let California fall into the ocean. Catch you in the next one.